Railway crossings are really fascinating, but it gets more interesting when it's a complex slip switch crossing. Let's find out how it works in this 3D presentation. Let's say four rail tracks coming out from four different tunnel. Let's call it track A, this one track B, this is track C, and this one is track D. It is inevitable that two opposite rail tracks are going to intersect at this section. Let's say, hypothetically, these rails are fused at these four intersecting points. If a car wheel managed to roll on these rail, it might be able to roll over the intercepting points. It's because road vehicles wheels outer surface is cylindrical. But rail wheels are different. Its thread section is semi-conical and also has flange section at inner side. So rail wheel will not be able to pass through the junction. It requires some gap between intersecting rails or lift frog arrangement to let the wheel pass. Practically, this gaps between rails provided with separate rail sections. Two V-frog rails are installed at these two intersecting points. And two wing rails at each nose section are necessary to guide wheels at these crossing nose. Two other frogs are installed at other two intersecting points. Now, train wheels are running on different rail tracks, can pass through this junction easily. Because of this brilliant railway engineering solution, this is also possible for trains running in opposite direction. Congratulations, you have just found a diamond crossing. Well, if you still can't see it, the take a look at the shape is formed by the rails at this junction point. Yes, it looks like a simple 2D diamond shape. But these diamond crossing does not allow train wheels to switch tracks. For example, if a train running on track C, it can't switch to track B using the diamond crossing. For rail track switching, a turnout system is required here. At this side, a set of switch blades are installed. Switch blades are supported by heel blocks at one end, and other end is linked with a point machine. These switch blades are pushed right and left by the point operating machine. When switch blades are moved to the left side, then train wheel sets will be guided to this curved track. So, outer side wheel's flange will catch the switch blade sidewall. Opposite side wheel will be running on curved rail too, but a little ahead, wheel flange path will be blocked by this rail. Same true for a train, wants to switch between curved rail and this straight line here. So, another switch blade set is installed here, which is operated by another point operating machine. Now, track CB is completely active. From viewer's perspective, when this switch blades are pushed to the left, then only a D track is active. When this point machine pulls the switch blades to the right, then AC track is on. Guard rails or check rails are necessary at opposite side of crossing nose to guide the wheels properly. Now, this crossing section should be called a single slip switch crossing. Isn't it interesting? Well, my channel is dying due to less views, subscriber count etc. But whole video making process takes a lot of time and effort. So please support my channel by liking and sharing my videos, and subscribe for more unique contents. Thank you for your support.